Fabulous. Good morning. I'm so glad y'all could come back for our second lesson. How's everybody been feeling? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> good. Good. The baby is growing. Wow. Well, that is great. A little bit more. Yes. Yes. Did anyone get a chance to use the pedometer I gave you last week to sort of keep up with your steps and to keep moving? Well, my battery died. Oh. Well, your battery died. Well, I may have to see if I have another one. Okay. All right. Remind me before we leave today. Okay. Yes. How, how, is anyone else uh, moving about and getting those steps in? Anyone else? <laughs> All right. Well, we want to. We want you to keep moving and uh, stay hydrated. Make some good choices because we want your babies to arrive here healthy, safe, and sound. So, how far along are you, Candace? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a chance to talk to your doctor yet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I want to remind you, yeah, check with your doctor and mm -hmm. be sure that they can kind of pinpoint where you are and uh, so that you can get the prenatal care you need at the right at the right time. Oh, you, Angel, how far along are you? three months. Wow, <laughs> so you're right at the end of the first trimester. Yes. Very good. Remember last week I talked with you guys about seed to melon and how important the weight of the baby is. And So I brought my chart back again just to give Angel an idea. She, your baby right now weighs about the size of a lime so or a lemon, you know about that mm -hmm. size. So. Baby is growing, you know, it's early, but baby's still growing. So uh, remember that this is a very important time of your life. Uh, make some good choices, especially for the baby. It's going to pay off in the long run. Well, uh, we have something that is very important that we're going to do today. I have a brain teaser uh, for you, and we're going to see what baby has been eating. Uh, and so um, I'm going to give each of you one of these sheets. And you're going to tell me what does baby eat. And I'm going to work along with you to get this done, okay? If you will notice on the sheet, there are numbers there, okay? So let's look at number one. Write in your name. And number two, I want to, you to check and tell me if you're pregnant, yes or no. I think everyone is. <laughs> That's really good. Are you breastfeeding? Yes or no? Number four, do you take nutritional supplements? And that would be items like your prenatal vitamins that your doctor has prescribed. This is in addition to what you eat. Check yes or no. Number five, how much money did you spend on food last month? And this is just a rough estimate. It, can, it should include, like if you received food stamps and you spent all of that on food, it should include money that you may have spent eating out at a restaurant. It can even include money that you put in vending machines to get a favorite soda or a favorite snack. So it should just be one figure that includes all of those things. Okay. 
number six. We're going to keep moving along. Tell me how much time do you spend doing physical activity? Check less than 30 minutes each day, 30 to 60 minutes each day, or more than 30, I'm sorry, more than 60 minutes each day. Just check one of those. Physical activity might include walking, riding the bike, uh, doing yard work, housework, whatever you do or whatever amount of time you spend moving about and staying active. Okay. Is everyone with me? Have you completed all your answers for one through six? Okay, now let's move on to number seven. And this is a very important question because we're going to be looking back at the past 24 hours. We'll, I want to know everything that you ate and drank in the past 24 hours. I want you to give as much detail as possible. And this is going to be very helpful to me because it's going to allow me to see what type of dietary pattern that you have and the diet that your baby currently has. And so it's going to give me a chance to get an overview of what you have been eating. All right, so if you look at the, in the little box, I have some common abbreviations that we might use and the meal type morning, mid-morning, noon, afternoon, evening, and late evening. So I'm going to guide you through this as we go along. We're going to work backwards, actually. So what time is it now, Candace? Do you know? I know. Well, Willie has on a watch. Oh, what time is it, Willie? I got about a minute after 11. Okay, around 11 o'clock, okay. Well, we're on our, our central standard time. I know you're... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So, okay, so we're going to be working backwards. So let's look at uh, meal type number two, the mid-morning meal. Did you have anything around 10 this morning? Uh, it could have been like a little snack, a break type food, late breakfast. But mid-morning, what did you eat at mid-morning? Me and morning. Me and morning. According to the types of things that you list, you know, if you uh, put a sandwich, you remember to put mayo, if you have mayo on it, if you have mustard on the sandwich, uh, if you had a beverage, let me know how much of the beverage. Was it an eight ounce beverage, 12 ounce? Beverage, 20 ounce. If you had water, remember to let me know that as well. Mid morning. I'm going to keep moving back until one, the morning meal. What did you eat or drink when you first got up this morning? What did you have for your morning meal? morning meal this morning flip your paper over, we're going to go to meal six, late evening meal. Think back to right before you went to bed. Did you eat or drink anything before you went to bed? Late evening meal. As my daughter calls it, the midnight snack. <laughs> so what did you have for your midnight snack? Even though it's not midnight, but 
That's what she often says. So anything that you ate or drank right before you went to bed. We usually refer to it as dinner, but evening meal. Did you eat anything in the evening? This all that you drank or ate. Type four is our afternoon meal. What did you eat or drink? Possibly around three-ish, 3.30, 2.30, 3.30. We tend to have something to eat around that time. So what did you eat or drink in the afternoon? Our very last meal, turn your paper back over. What did you have to eat yesterday around noontime? What did you eat or drink around noontime? Well, we often refer to it as the lunch hour. Yesterday, she was telling us about. <laughs> I need how to feed my baby. <laughs> the baby had a good time yesterday. <laughs> right? Have you finished, Angel? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I'll take those. I'll be taking these up today, and I'll take these back. Um, to the office and on next week when I come I'm going to bring a little printout and it's going to give you an overview of how you've eaten, how you and your baby have eaten. Good job Angel. Thank you Candace. Good job. All right. <laughs> All right Willie. Good job. <laughs> Willie, you haven't been eating. Mm, Good job, Elaine. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you all so much for telling me what your baby has been eating. And next week, I think you'll enjoy seeing the printout. It will give you a visual of how well or, or how well you haven't been eating. And it'll be something neat to put on your refrigerator as a reminder, you know, to get in the... Uh, 
different healthy foods that you need. Well, I brought along a nice little handout for you guys today. And this is Good Food Choices, Help Baby Grow and Keep Mom Healthy. And I brought along my plate because I want you all to remember these recommendations that uh, on food guidance that we have. Uh, how many of you have seen my plate before? Okay, very good, very good. <clears throat> so we're encouraging you and the baby to have fruits, vegetables, grain, protein, and dairy products. So let's turn over on the back of our handout. The first thing on my plate is red. And so that is the fruit portion of your plate. And so we want you to remember to focus on fruit. So Angel, how much fruit is recommended for mom and the baby each day? Two cups. Two cups, very good. And so. Two cups means maybe at one setting you could have a cup of raw fruit or one whole fruit or you maybe have a, a half cup of dried fruit even. Uh, and some of the nutrients that we get from fruit are fiber, which kind of helps the food to pass through our digestive system. Vitamin C, which helps uh, your sores to heal, you know, so that's very good. Uh, and even folate or folicin, which is very good in guarding against birth defects for the baby. So, we want to remember to eat a variety of fruit, and fruit is the one food that makes your baby's uh, skin soft and pretty. So remember what fruit will give your baby. All right, now we're gonna move on to the green section of my plate vegetables and the key message we want to remember is vary your vegetables so how many servings of vegetables are recommended for mom and baby willie three cups three cups very good so we want you to get your fair share of vegetables that might be one cup of raw vegetables such as a cup of lettuce or a cup of spinach if you're eating that you could have one cup of cooked vegetables, such as your collard greens or your peas or your broccoli. And then two cups of the raw leafy. Well, I got that the wrong calorie. Raw leafy would be your um, lettuce. lettuce and your spinach, yes. Raw might be like your carrots, perhaps. All right, so again, the vegetables are going to give us fiber, folate, and vitamin A. And so what do we, what is the tip for mom and baby from this group, Candice? To eat more dark green and orange vegetables. Mm -hmm. The vegetables help everything in the body work together for the baby. So it's gonna help you to guard <laughs> against the uh, constipation. Gonna keep those, uh, keep your foods passing through your digestive system, okay? So next, our uh, section on the plate is our grains. We want to make half of our grains whole. That's the message we want to remember from that. How many uh, ounces of grain should we have each day? Eight. Eight ounces, very good. A slice of bread, that could be a cup of your ready to eat cereal. What's some of your favorite cereals? No, no, I don't want to eat this. Okay, <laughs> all right, honey nut Cheerios, very good. So, or a half cup of your cooked pasta, your rice, or a cooked cereal, such as grits or uh, oatmeal. Yes, very good. So the grains give us carbohydrates for energy, fiber, dietary fiber, the B vitamins, and folate as well. We want to choose whole grains instead of refined grains. Refined grains are usually those that have been processed, probably sugar has been added. So we want to use the whole grain instead. The grains are gonna give the baby energy to work and play. So the baby will be moving in your stomach. You'll feel him or her moving about and they're working and playing. Okay, then we wanna remember the purple section of my plate to go 
lean with protein. That rhymes, go lean with protein. So how many ounces of protein should mom and baby have every day? Six, Six ounces, very good. And that's things like an ounce of lean meat, uh, one egg, a fourth cup of beans, uh, even a half ounce of nuts. And again, this group gives us the protein. We need the B vitamins and iron. And so the protein-rich foods help the brain, help with brain development for the baby. So it's important to get uh, your protein foods in as well. And then our last group over here in the blue is our dairy group or our calcium-rich foods. And what is recommended that we have each day from this group? Three cups. Three cups. We're talking about a cup of milk, eight ounces of yogurt, or even two ounces of processed cheese. This group gives us calcium, protein, and vitamin D. And so we want to remember that these particular foods helps baby to have strong bones and teeth. So as you can see, all of these foods are very important to baby. All right? So I have a little activity. We want to see how well you did uh, just now. Elaine. <laughs> Willie. Candace. I'm not on the chart. <laughs> and Angel. All right, so this is just going to be a little rough estimate. So you start with your first meal. And like Candace had, she went to McDonald's, she had the Egg McMuffin, right? So what do we have on there? We have the uh, two McMuffin pieces. So I would consider that one grain. So if you want to give yourself, you can pick whatever color you like of your star for grains. Well, Candace is picking silver. We can, we can go with silver. And then she had on the McMuffin, she had an egg. So what category is the egg in? Protein, yes. Okay. And then, uh, what else is on the egg McMuffin? Cheese. Cheese. So where would that go? You can do different colors for every group if you like. Okay. Okay. All right. And uh, did you have jelly on it by chance? You didn't say on your recall jelly or just. You just like it bare? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you had a Sprite. So was, where does Sprite go? There was meat on that. Oh, the Canadian bacon. Did I skip oh, that? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Canadian bacon, yes. I had a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you so give yourself another protein. Protein. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, um, and your Sprite. Sprite is kind of other, so it doesn't even have a spot. It just puts you, you can pick another color for your others and put it anywhere next. So you go through each of your items and do the same thing. How about you, Angel? Are you well on your way? I am. All right, good, very good. <laughs> Let's see who has the most colorful my plate. Willie? <laughs> oh my goodness. We have right. nuts. Peanuts. You had how many how, how many peanuts did you have? You didn't say. You had your water. Mm -hmm. Oh, peanuts. Maybe <laughs> a fourth of a cup, a handful. Mm -hmm. Come on, Amy, help me out. <laughs> <laughs> fourth of a cup, okay. So that would be a, a protein. You can pick a color for your protein. Mm -hmm. Made it to board. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nothing for water. Mm -hmm. My apple, my fruit. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can pick a color for water, guys, if you all would like. What's the color everyone hasn't used? I used all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, peanuts again. How's it going, Eli? Uh, I'm getting it. 
You getting there good. I have some little dots with me, so every time you have water, if you want to put under and choose my plate, you can uh, you can put a dot for your water. Because moms need to stay hydrated and babies. with dairy because it's in the dairy section. I put my milk in my bread. <laughs> I'm trying to get some dairy. <laughs> I'm trying to get some dairy. So take a look at uh, take a look at your plate that we just that you just completed. Do you at least have two stars on fruit? Yes. Great. Do you have at least three on veggies? No. Mm -mm. No. What about, uh, we have eight ounces is recommended, so about three to three to five stars on the grain, at least, at least yes, three is good. Three. All right, good. What about under protein, at least three stars yes. there? All right. Yes. And under calcium, at least three stars. Mm -hmm. Dairy, okay. All right. So how many dots do we have for water? One water and one juice. Okay. <laughs> Any others on your plate? I'm missing some stars because I got peanuts right there. And peanuts right there. So you would put another, yeah, in your protein category. So this activity, I hope, has given you just a, a quick visual of how you're eating and maybe. By looking at it, you can set one goal for you and baby for next week. Anyone want to share their goal? You don't have to, but is there anyone that would like to share a goal that they are going to set just based on looking at their particular chart? Okay, Elaine. To incorporate some dairy in our diet Aww. and more vegetables. 
get more um, dairy and veggies for the baby. Mm -hmm. Very good. Anyone else? I need to do the same. Okay. I, well, actually, I need to eat. I really do. Because mm -hmm. I don't eat mm -hmm. Yeah, so I need to eat well, I eat a lot of fruit most days, but I guess over the past 24 hours, it just... You did. Mm -hmm. yeah. thought she ate out my food. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so this little chart gives you an idea of how well baby is eating. All right. Well, I got a little game we're gonna do, and you can take that, um, take that uh, with you, and um, you know, get it, keep your little plate with you, and it be a little reminder during the week, and then um, I'll bring you one. I'll bring you back a printout next week when I come. All right, well, we're going to play a little game and we're going to keep scores. We're going to have Team A and Team B. All right. Just reviewing a few uh, of our important foods that we could incorporate into the diet, okay? So, I'm going to let you guys go first. Take a guess. What am I? I'm white inside. It's one clue. White inside, okay. And you all can can converse before you shout your answer out. Because they may want to steal. Yeah. <laughs> I have scales. I live in water. Come on. <laughs> you want to guess? All right, fish! Yay! Give them a big hand. <laughs> so you all have one point. Very good. Y'all ready, Team B? Yes, all true. right. Okay, listen up. I can be white or brown. I sometimes have seeds. Oh, hold on. One more. I am eating plain or with a meal. I am oblong or round. I can be French or Italian. Mm -hmm. oh, man. I really should let y'all steal because Willie had gave me an answer. <laughs> <laughs> no. Y'all want to steal? Bread. 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 <laughs> Bread. I was thinking toast, but I was like, that's not Bread. Good. Yeah, I can be white or brown. You know toast. I don't eat bread. <laughs> Y'all got two. Okay, y'all ready? Because they stole. What am I? I am oval shaped. Mm. I am green inside and out. I have small black seeds. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm from New Zealand. Get them all these. I am minutes. long <laughs> and narrow. <laughs> I am, yes, Kiwi, the fuzzy <laughs> one, Kiwi. All right, three mm. points. Okay, y'all oh. ready over here, girls? <laughs> Babies? <laughs> <laughs> what am I? I can be white, brown, or pink. I come in many different flavors. I am good with cereal. Oh, oh yeah, I got your milk. Yeah, I make a great milk. Yeah, they have yeah. different flavors of milk. Okay. Yeah, boy. <laughs> One point. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, y'all ready? Mm -hmm. I think this is our last one. I start out green. You just showed the answer. I saw. Oh, did. Oh. I did. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not good. Well, maybe she didn't see it. Go ahead. I started out green. You saw it too. You saw it too. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I knew if I saw it. So, Mayo. I read when ripe, I can be as large as a baseball. Yeah, just like that. And I'm like, oh, okay. I forget. Yeah. Or as small as a marble, <laughs> and I grow on a vine. Salt tomato. So let's give Team A a big hand and Team B a big hand as well. <laughs> well, today um, I really enjoyed being with you guys and um, I brought along something for you guys to sample a broccoli salad. So we're going to uh, let you sample. We're going to uh, wash our hands. And I'm going to allow you to taste it. I like broccoli. I thought you were We don't have a hand washing sink in this facility. So we have some hand sanitizer. But whenever you are near a sink, always wash your hands. Because you can always spread germs to baby. It's very important. So, would you like to sample it, Willie? You don't like broccoli? I think you'll enjoy this. It's delicious. Yes, I'll enjoy this broccoli. It's delicious. <laughs> I can do this one. As you're sampling, let me tell you about the recipe. The recipe is just, all you do is take four cups of broccoli, four cups of chopped fresh broccoli from the produce section. You can add uh, a fourth cup of walnuts. And then you'll add one container of vanilla yogurt. That sort is the dressing for it. Then you'll add a fourth cup of mayonnaise. Fourth mm -hmm. cup of raisins. You love raisins, Willie, that's because the, I. That's the only thing that I like. <laughs> <laughs> and if you would like uh, a fourth cup of thinly sliced red onions, and I didn't put the red onions in today, but uh, all you do is simply uh, mix these ingredients together in a bowl and then uh, serve it. All it does after it chills, all the seasonings go in well together. It's very delicious as a complement to a meal or as a meal with crackers perhaps or as a snack. And so I have a little magnet for you today with the recipe on. If you've enjoyed it so and you want to make it for you and your family, then just punch out the recipe. The frame will remain and you can use the frame uh, to put around your baby's picture for your refrigerator, okay? So please uh, sample uh, the broccoli and let me know if you like it. How do you like it, Candace? It's good. Still. Mm -hmm. You can make it a complete meal by um, eating it with crackers, serving a glass of milk with it, or even uh, a glass of 100% fruit juice. I like the raisins. Yes, Just a thought for someone that does not like broccoli, they could probably take another nice dish was good mm -hmm. for you, put it in place, and mm -hmm. the same thing. Mm -hmm. So there you go. You don't have to I know, it. like cauliflower, something yeah, kind of chunky. chunky. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. But what about the person that don't like? Broccoli, None of them. Yogurt, <laughs> meal. Wow. Well, we're trying to, you know, we wanted to get them to taste something different. So it's just, just to get them to taste. And they'll be surprised that, I mean, they'll end up liking it. Well, today, class, we've looked at lots of different things. We've uh, talked about the importance of eating healthy during pregnancy because we want uh, your baby to arrive healthy and we want you to stay healthy as well. And so I've talked with you about your diet. I'm gonna take uh, your diet back 
put it into our computer and have a printout for you on next time. Also, we uh, looked at how important my plate is because there are different recommendations. And so your goal or your aim should be to at least strive to meet the recommended uh, serving sizes for you and the baby. We've looked at how all of the food groups provide something for baby. Some of our, the fruits make baby's uh, skin soft. Uh, calcium is good for baby's brain development, you know. So carbohydrates or the grains give our baby energy, you know. So every food group has nutrients that baby needs. And so we have to remember that as well. I've shown you how to make broccoli salad, and I hope that all of you enjoyed it and will have a chance to make it with your families. And I've given you the recipe so that you can try it at home. And I'll be back here next week at this very same time. And I have an appointment card just to remind you that I'll be here next Monday at 11 o'clock. And so keep your car handy. And I'll try to give you a call the day before to let you know that I'll be just right here waiting on you. And we're going to keep moving through our lessons. Next week we'll be on lesson three. And uh, you'll be one step closer to graduating and getting your certificate of uh, completion for this program.